Hello everyone, welcome to our second annual African Union Expo. Um, we're just getting started. Uh, we have many vendors. We're mm -hmm. displaying our coffee, Go Africa Coffee, which is free um, and you can have it as a regular coffee or as an espresso drink. Um, we should be soon getting ready to have our speakers and do our introductions, but thank you all for coming. But almond milk doesn't work. I went through all of them. It is The coffee is good, man. The coffee is delicious, absolutely delicious. And needed on a day, on a day like this today. <laughs> what about you? Name? Did you get your coffee? Oh yes, uh, I have like three, two cups. Uh, two Only two cups? Two espresso. Two espresso. But I'm about to have uh, some now. Did you just catch me in time? And so the coffee is wonderful. I love the coffee, and I have a home also. So I, every morning I drink this. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, very delicious. Very. Can I have espresso, please? Thank you. Oh, espresso. <laughs> Try the espresso of this. Um, yeah, she's just a. Oh, I'm sorry. So, may I have one also, please? Yeah. Hello, thank you for stopping by. This is some information that can help keep you safe in case there's an emergency. We have a basic planning guide, fill in the blank. This is a, uh, a map of all the hurricane evacuation zones in New York and all of the evacuation centers in case you need to abandon your home during a major storm. This is uh, an advertisement for Notify NYC. This is a free service from the city of New York. They'll send you a text message or an email in case something's happened or is about to happen that can disrupt your day. We suggest every New Yorker know their zone. This is uh, a mini guide which has all of the important bullet points to help keep you prepared in the event of an emergency and a place to put all of your important numbers and information. It fits into a book bag or a handbag or a wallet so that you can always be prepared. And this is a little something about the local volunteer uh, group for emergency management. The CERT program of New York is a robust volunteer organization that's community-based, and this no, is no, about an the uh, Harlem uh, Community right? Emergency Response Team. So please, by all means, stop by and get prepared. Thank you. This is New York City Emergency Management and the Community Emergency sure Response Team program of New York City Emergency <laughs> Management. And all of the information that Ramona has just shared is available to you in other languages. Um, the 13 most popular. We also, at this table today, we're including information in both Spanish and French. The outreach is also available in all languages to all members of the community in the City of New York. Hi. Oh yeah, sure. My name is Mario Lashoga and I'm a business specialist with the um, Minority Business Center here at Sobro. And Sobro is one of 44 centers um, sponsored by the Minority Business Development Agency, which is under the United States Department of Commerce. And really our goal is to support the growth and sustainability of minority businesses across the United States. We offer the following services, financing, um, if you need a consultant, we can certainly support you. And we're excited to be here and to be part of the African Union Expo. Thank you. That's enjoyable. <laughs> I'm a business specialist at the Minority Business Center, and really our goal is to support the growth and sustainability of minority businesses. Good morning, my name is Takesha White, and I'm the president of Carver's Community Development Corporation. Happy to be here supporting Go Africa. I'm very excited to be providing the support for the business entrepreneurs this afternoon. Hi, my name is Robert Bowden, and I'm with Viva Ray Chocolates. We are a corporate uh, 
branding specialists. We do gourmet chocolates for either business to business, whether they be corporate gifts and parties or thank you gifts. And so we like to work with other organizations that are wanting to treat their clients and have something a little more special than a than just a pen. So, so yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Yes, it's a free raffle to potentially win some free uh, legal work. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Welcome to uh, to the second edition of Go Africa Network. Can you do a brief presentation of your business, please? Okay, fine. Hi, my name is Karen. I'm the owner of Zuri Lani. Uh, they're all natural, but body products that I've created myself. They have no chemicals at all, no parabens, and. Um, about f three years ago, I found a need to find something natural. It didn't break my skin out. And I had grandchildren that had eczema. So then I started uh, creating different things, trial and error. And I came up with a beautiful product that works great. As you can see, I have uh, many different aromas and fragrances. And they're all shea butter based. Uh, I have shampoo, body wash, lotions, creams, and of course soaps. And I hope you try my product. I'm sure you'll love it. Uh, I have many repeat customers, and I'm a proud member of Go Africa Network. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you. We are NYC Business Solutions. We're helping small businesses to start, to operate, and to grow. And we do that through some uh, free services, uh, financing, legal services, recruitment, MWB application, a license and permit, and many other services and classes and workshop to really equip entrepreneurs to really be successful at their businesses. Business? Yes, uh, we're a nonprofit organization, African Services Committee, and we've been in New York City for more than 35 years, founded by an Ethiopian refugee. We've grown from helping refugees into being the multi service organization that we are now. Uh, we have a legal clinic offering free or nominal fee legal services, immigration services, to all immigrants, not just folks from Africa. We have housing, we have food pantry, ESL classes. We have health screening, offering free health screening on a, on a walk-in basis uh, for folks who are looking for HIV testing or viral hepatitis testing. Um, so it's, it's really, all immigrants are welcome to come by African Services Committee on West 127th Street. It's 429 West 127th Street, Monday through Friday. And uh, if we can't directly help you, we will certainly refer you to somebody that, that can, but we offer a range of services. Hi, so I'm Athena Moore. I'm the director of the Northern Manhattan office of Manhattan Bar President Gail Brewer. And we're pleased to be a, a proud supporter of the Go Africa Network and the African Union Expo 2016. Uh, we've brought today numerous resources for the African community, resources about our African Immigrant Task Force, about ways that we work with and help small businesses and entrepreneurs, as well as improving greater access to communities for city services. And anyone could stop by our office on 125th Street um, between Amsterdam and Morningside at any time and receive the support and help of this administration. Gail Brewer is the borough president and we are here on her behalf to serve the community. We're, we're from the United States Postal Service. We're good for uh, marketing and advertising and, and shipping, international, domestic. This is Colin Douglas. Yeah, Colin Douglas also from the Postal Service and uh, literally all things shipping. Um, we certainly work with businesses to leverage the uh, Postal Service's mailing, uh, shipping, and every door direct mail marketing services as well. Thank you. Okay. I'm representing uh, Ibrahim Law Firm today, a general practice in law firm, and today we're raffling off some free legal work, and so I'm excited to be here. I'm enjoying the networking and 
um, getting to know people in the community, so I'm happy to be here. Well, uh, Wale Ibrahim, who is the leading um, attorney for this firm, is his focus is on immigration and family law, but he generally has a a, a knack for here someone bankruptcy, personal injury. There's just a number of different things here that he specializes in. So. Okay. So people will read about it. I'm sorry. I said people will read about it. People read about it. Yeah. If you stop by this table, you All can right. uh, get some free legal work. All right. Thank you. All righty. Uh, you want me to move? No, you good. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah, that's a hoodie and that's a hoodie and denim with African print. Okay. Oh, this is Nejay. Nejay is me. I'm the fashion designer, Georgina Akum. So I, uh, I'm originated from Cameroon, Africa. So as a young girl, I always like... Of course Cameroon is Africa. What do you think it is? No, I just have to. Cameroon, Af Central Africa. You want me to say it that way, right? So, I like to skirt and all that. My dad said I could be a designer. So that's how I started in uh, fashion designing right from uh, high school. I graduated. I started making clothes since I was... Like over 10 years ago, I, I make custom made, I make my own clothes. When I wear them and go to the street, people be like, oh, that's nice. I, I made it and that's how I started getting bigger and getting known. My friends and family and everybody was placing orders. Um, I came to, the New, to New York five years ago. I went to Art Institute. I graduated in 2014. So right now I do custom made and I'm starting to do online sales of my products. So I do female, men, men's shirts and ladies, whatever. Everything, skirt, top, dresses, everything for female. You are successful, that's interesting. Oh, thank you. Are to my right and I guess to your left and we are running a little delay because of obviously for the weather but I wanted to go through some aspects of what we'll be covering today um, we're going to start with after Athena Moore from the, the um, Manhattan Bureau President's Office has spoken we're going to move to the exhibitor announcements and that way you will hear from some of the exhibitors from some of the products and services that they're offering. And from there we will have probably two or three guest speakers. The uh, speakers are running a little delay because of the weather. And from there we will move to the minority business agency talking about e-commerce and financing for your given business. So um, first of all, I wanted to describe to you one of the genesis of this event and um, what we're seeking to accomplish. Um, the biggest part was that we heard from the community that um, there's too much confusion in the relating of services for financing, how to start your business, etc. So we sought to streamline that, but more importantly, to address one of the salient needs in the community, and that is of getting financing, qualifying for financing. Last year we did a more thorough walkthrough of the various different options that you have. 
So this year we took a more proactive approach, and that's why the program is divided. As you can see, it's a contest that happens later this afternoon for those who want to pitch their business, <laughs> want to pitch their business. And I think most of you are aware of that the top prize is $1,000. But more importantly also, there's a secondary contest that takes place as well, that if you have a good idea, innovation, the pri obviously the prize amounts are lower, but you don't need a business plan, but you can pitch your idea conceptually, and you can win in that particular category. Uh, the business review takes place in the next room, and it will start probably simultaneously with the contest. So if you're the, the biggest thing you need to know, if you're sitting here and you do not have a, green, a gray or yellow ticket, you're not registered to be in a contest. And you may need to go back out front to register yourself so that you're formally in the contest. When the contest starts, um, we're just picking the tickets from the box. And from there, you can present. But again, if you don't have one of those tickets, you won't be called, and that will be why. So I will repeat that salient point several times throughout the day to make sure that everyone is covered. And the contest ends when all the tickets in the box have been exhausted. Make sense? Yep. Okay, great. So on that, we'll get the program started with Athena Moore from the Manhattan Bureau President's Office. She's going to say a few words about the Manhattan Bureau President and her minority task force group in Manhattan. Thank you. Um, good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here on behalf of the Honorable Gail Brewer, Manhattan Borough President. Um, normally, uh, she would be here with us, um, but she's been called uh, to other duties. And uh, since the beginning, uh, she has been with us uh, as we have been invited by the wonderful Denny Beach uh, to be a, a co-sponsor of this initiative, as well as many others. Um, so it's a great pleasure to be here. I'm joined uh, by my colleague, Alassane Diop, who is also the constituent liaison for the African immigrant community uh, with us. And so please um, warmly welcome him as he stands with me today. Um, we together have a table over in the networking section, and I invite you to come by and take a look at the resources that we have. One of the things that we have is a African Immigrant Task Force, and that task force has continued to work with uh, Denny and the Go Africa Network and the African Union uh, colleagues to host various initiatives. One was a recent uh, festival on 116th Street. For those of you who were a part of it, it was a very wonderful day, and there was more opportunity to have resources uh, shared. Uh, in addition, we also know that this festival will grow each year. And I'm convinced that we will continue to do a, a great effort in working as a team to make sure that entrepreneurial opportunities are advanced, to make sure that um, we also have uh, business resources that are shared. I also wanted to say that when Denny uh, first brought this initiative to us, it was before the launch of his uh, coffee line. And uh, the fact that that is another true testament of the work that's being built through this network is a, a thing that we should all congratulate Go Africa Network for as well. Um, I want to tell you that many of the concerns that the African community has brought to our attention are also being addressed through our office. I'll just be brief in sharing that we worked with the State Department to um, mobilize and encourage African hair braiders to come out. Uh, we had uh, numerous of them in our office to talk with them about some of the barriers that affect them related to licensing. And as small businesses, we know how uh, often 
fines and penalties can be a great barrier to doing business. And so we work with them to try to minimize some of those roadblocks. Uh, we also, I know, are joined here today by some of our colleagues with Power African Youth. And Denny was a part of that network. And I know that they're here, too. Um, one of the sisters that I greeted earlier. Uh, and we work with them in a similar um, model to help entrepreneurs to pitch their business ideas. And so we're continuing in that effort. Um, I want to share briefly that the African Chorus Ensemble, which some of you may know, is another entity that's helping small businesses. Uh, they help to launch a multicultural uh, festival, which our office co-sponsors, but they also are working with vendors. We have new legislation that has been introduced into the city council, which the borough president has been supporting. And through working with the African Chorus Ensemble, we host workshops to help vendors to actually get themselves established to one day become a small business owner in the community. And so please continue to utilize our office in that way. Um, finally, I want to just say that we have so many other initiatives that I know time won't permit me to go into the details for which, but one of them in particular is the Million Africa Diaspora Assembly, which is coming up next year. We met with the United Nations, the United African Congress. We met with the African Union and some other foundations to talk about a partnership that's very ambitious, but one that will be targeted for the summer of 2017, and it's going to bring together diverse parts of the African community to celebrate culture, to educate people, and definitely to promote economic development and trade opportunities. And stay tuned for more information on that because we will be reaching out to you to share that. Uh, finally, we have uh, upcoming workshops. Uh, certainly, we just hosted one on immigration and citizenship, but I think what would be germane to you all is that we have one on financial literacy, investment, credit, and banking opportunities that's coming up on November 30th, and on IDNYC. For those in the immigrant community who have not yet tapped into that resource, it is available and on-site enrollment can happen in our office this coming Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. Okay, we have funding opportunities coming down the pike, capital budget funding, um, applications are available and people should seek out capital funding from our office and get more information. And finally, community boards. We need African leadership on community boards in order to make decisions change at the local level in our community. Okay, a lot said. The borough president loves you, supports you, and whatever we can do to continue this partnership, we look forward. Thanks so much. Uh, I would just want to reiterate what uh, Athena said, Athena Moore said, is that there is capital funding from the Bureau President's Office. Uh, you would just have to go online and apply uh, for that. And we are a testament to that. We've applied for funding twice to the Bureau's President's Office as well. Um, <laughs> on that, um, as promised, we're going to have the merchants. Be <laughs> I guess that's better. <laughs> uh, so, as I was saying before, um, we're going to now have the merchants um, come one by one to spend two to, two to three minutes introducing their business, product, or services. So each of the merchants, if you're there, uh, we're not in random order, so any of you can line up and you can go serially in order one by one. So who's going to be the first? <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's great to be here. My name's Takesha White. I'm the president of Carver Community Development Corporation, Carver Federal Savings Bank. And on behalf of our president and CEO, Michael T. Pugh, I'd like to thank you once again, Dr. Beach, for providing us an opportunity to be with the business community here. Um, for those of you who don't know much about Carver, Carver is a um, Community Bank. We were founded in 1948. We have nine branches around the city. Our closest one here is on 116th and Lenox. Um, and what what is our claim to fame? Our fa claim to fame is that we are um, 
We bank local, and that's really what our mantra is. Um, one of the biggest uh, attributes, I think, of our bank is uh, 83 cents of every dollar that we have on deposit is reinvested in the communities that we serve. And we strive to partner with organizations like Go Africa, like the Borough President's Office, like many other business, business, small businesses in the community. And we welcome the opportunity to provide access to capital because Carver was founded at a time when there wasn't access to capital for many uh, communities of color. And unfortunately, we find that there are a number of unbanked and underbanked individuals, especially in New York City, still here. So one of the other partnership opportunities, we work with the City of New York and the IDNYC program to use that card as a major form of identification so that individuals who may not have a government-issued ID can open a bank account and have access to mainstream banking. Um, because we know that that is a large part of becoming active and building your business and building yourself uh, as a productive uh, member of the community. So we are, again, excited and happy to be here. My colleague Juan is uh, standing in the um, exhibitor space there to discuss any details that you may have about banking with us. Uh, we have business banking, of course, commercial and consumer. Uh, I head up nonprofit lending for the bank. Um, we provide any number of traditional retail services that any bank would have, including mobile banking. Um, and so we want you to come and be a, uh, be a part of our banking family. And we thank you again for the opportunity to share. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Christian Demiba. I'm the director at NYC Business Solutions, Upper Manhattan and Washington Heights. Thank you so much, Dr. Beach, for inviting us. It's really an honor to be here. Um, I'm here with my colleague, Lawrence Mensa. At the back there, we have some information for you. So I want to talk a little bit more about what we do that you could take advantage of. Um, the city of New York for the last about eight years, nine years or so, have created the NYC Business Solution Centers. We talk about seven centers across the city. Those centers are at no cost to you to help entrepreneurs and small businesses to start, to operate, and to grow their businesses, right? We do that via some services. Those services are, number one, financing. How important is that? Access to capital. Regardless of your situation, the credit score, uh, new uh, in this country, no credit score, we can actually work with you in getting access to capital. This is really what we do. We actually make you bankable. So my office is located on 125th Street by the, the post office, and an, another center is located in Washington Heights on 181st Street. Right? So connect with us for access to capital. So we work with lenders such as Carver, right, and many others. We make you loan ready. You have some document involved. You have some financial projections involved. We come in to help you with that, OK? Also, we help you with legal structures, right? You don't know what type of legal entity you will be. You don't know if you should be signing a commercial lease. Very important, we will help you with accessing a network of pro bono uh, attorney, okay? Another service is really the workshop. As you're running your business, you really definitely want to enhance your skill set, right? And get the knowledge in social media, financial concern, marketing. We will be able to help you with all of that. In addition, we will help you with recruitment services and training. As you're growing your company, you want to hire folks, we'll send you a pool of candidates that you could hire from, and this is really uh, what we do. We'll help you with license, with permit, right? We'll help you with navigating government. We'll help you with accessing city contract as well, MWBE, right? So we have a, a variety of services to make sure that you mitigate your risk 
as an entrepreneur and as a small business. Statistically speaking, when you look at why business fail, many of you know that already. It's number one, lack of necessary planning. Number two, and it goes together, underestimating the money that you need, right? So we want to make sure that we can mitigate that risk for you, right? So again, visit us. We have business card, we have flyers. We'll be more than happy to have a conversation with you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Robert Bowden. I'm with Viva Ray Chocolates. We are a bespoke chocolate service where we actually work with other businesses to value their customers and treat them, whether it be end of the year gifts, uh, corporate parties, private labeling. That's something that we offer. So your brands are important to you. We help you work on building those brands. And you can contact us if there are ideas that you have or you like something that we currently do, then that allows us the opportunity to kind of make something special for you. So where everything we do is custom, um, whether it be from a small scale event to global shipping to all of your client lists. So we do have those capabilities. We're located in North Jersey, but we go wherever our clients are. So if you need any services that's kind of an appreciation standpoint and you want to do something that's better than a USB drive or a pen, then think about us. Thank you. Hi, my name is Karen and I'm a little nervous, first time I've presented uh, my company. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I live in Brooklyn. I would love to live in Harlem, but I've yet to find an affordable one-bedroom apartment, so if someone could help me with that, that would be a great start. <laughs> okay. Um, how I got started. I sell bath and body products, natural and organic. And I found that after years of acne, even into adulthood, that I think I could do something better than uh, put Retin-A on my skin. So I started using recipes, hit and miss, and I found something that worked. I've been told I have a great product, and um, I have many repeat customers. And let's see, uh, I'm two and a half years from retirement. <clears throat> I'm in my 60s. I have six grandchildren, and I would love to just do this full time and forget about uh, I won't say that. The students that I, I teach, <laughs> um, you know, I really want to do this. I love it. Uh, the aromas really got me. Uh, most of us, uh, uh, you know, we love aromas and aromatic things. It just blew my mind. It took me out of depression. Um, I lived in Georgia for five years. I came back here because my grandkids are up here. And I had to babysit. So I found something to do with my hands. And it started taking off. Of course, the family got free stuff. I said, no, this can't go on. So I started uh, vending. I do a lot of fairs. I've been up here often. I've done the Miss uh, Vending events here. And I, love, I just love it. I love being outdoors. I'm an outdoor person. Uh, why I'm here, why I came up on the stage, I was told that I may be fortunate enough to get uh, some assistance. Uh, I am an LLC. I was able to move that forward. But I would love to have assistance with um, packaging. I know many of us have probably brought things based on the beauty of the package. I know I have. And um, even though my packaging has gotten better, I would like it to go even further. You know, the high end look. Okay, I've used products that weren't well, horrible, matter of fact. But the packaging was just awesome. So. With that being said, I need help with my packaging. And uh, even more important than that is accounting. Even though I'm educated with several degrees, I'm not good at keeping books on my, my incoming uh, monies or outgoing. I know I'm still in the red, I know that much, 
but I would like to have QuickBooks or something or an accountant to keep track of you know, the money that I spend and what's coming in. I'm also mostly domestic. I like to go international. That's very important and reach a wider audience. Uh, like I said, I'm two and a half years from retirement, so help me make this happen. Thank you very much. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Colin Douglas, and I'm here with my uh, colleague today, Richard Danzo. We're with the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, we are, in fact, I would say, very much uh, joined to the hip within the, this entire audience. Uh, we are within the commercial sales division for the Postal Service as well as the marketing division, and we're here to ultimately our uh, purpose in being here today is to support you all in terms of anything related to mailing, shipping, and direct mail marketing. Uh, and that is on a domestic and international level for you all as small businesses. So um, please do stop by if uh, certainly we could be of a uh, solution to you all. There are a number of different products and programs that the Postal Service does have. Uh, to support small businesses. So we're happy to uh, be here and be a part of it and to certainly support your growth. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sharetta Harrington. Today I'm representing Ibrahim Law Firm. Uh, the lead attorney is Wale Ibrahim. He couldn't be here today, got called away to court while he's on the job. So um, he is uh, focusing on immigration and small business. So I know there are a lot of people here today interested in startups and things like that. So I encourage you to stop by in the corner there and fill out your, inf your contact information and sign up for some free law service and some free legal advice and hopefully free legal work. And that's the raffle in the corner and I invite everyone to come over and say hello. Everyone, my name is Carmen Tomlinson. This is my colleague Maureen Mathiason and Juliet Brown. We represent today New York Life. I'm sure everyone knows New York Life, the company we keep. We are, the organization is 171 years old. We've been in New York for the longest. We are indeed one of the longest. And I'm going to turn it over to Maureen at this time. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going on my tippy toes so I can reach the mic. <laughs> It's awesome to see all of us gathering together because so many people, you know, we don't get together often enough when it comes to businesses and stuff like that, so congratulations. As a business partner with New York Life, one of the things that we do is we get together with attorneys, CPAs, and different business entities to help you and educate you and how you can protect your business. A lot of us work very hard but we don't protect our business, and that's one of the things that we do. Also talk to you about you know, creating a trust, protecting that business, and making sure that you don't just work very hard for the business, but you also ensure that that business will continue. And one of the things that we do at New York Life is creating a legacy within our community. The goal is to create $50 billion in our community so that will bring, help us to do what other communities have done in the past, is help our family go forward and not thinking that we can stay where we are, but we can always improve. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Carlos Sierra. I'm the community liaison person for the CUNY Citizenship Now. We are a non-for-profit community-based organization that started 20 years ago. And our mission is to provide the New Yorkers free and high quality immigration services. Our services are 100% free. And once again, we do not charge. We have, uh, ever since we started, we have helped over 100,000 um, individuals. We have offices throughout the city. Uh, my table is on the right side, all the way on the corner. If you have any questions, you know, at some point, feel free to stop by. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Kwame Leslie Dugan. I am an attorney and I'm here with Scotch and Palm Law Group. We are lawyers who do more than lawyering. We are investors um, and entrepreneurs who came together to solve a problem, which was finding um, people with legal skills who understood the African continent and the diaspora. And we have been helping businesses um, both based here enter African markets and helping African investors and entrepreneurs do business um, with North America. So we try to bridge the gap. And we are um, happy to talk to anyone who has a, any, who's doing something that may require some legal, um, that may entangle them in some legal um, questions. We are um, based, our stand is right next to uh, the Postal Service appropriately because um, we are international. So feel free to stop by and happy to talk to you about both um, business and anything related to, to making that moving, advancing your idea. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you, uh, Dr. Beach, for, uh, for having African Services Committee here, uh, second year in a row. Uh, my name is Eric Omley. I'm the Director of Communications. Uh, African Services Committee is a nonprofit organization located not far from here on West 127th Street. Uh, we are an organization that has been in New York City for more than 35 years, originally founded by an Ethiopian refugee. The organization started really just specifically helping refugees and, and over the three plus decades has grown to help folks with housing assistance. We offer free health screening. We have ESL programs. We have a food pantry, nutrition programs. We have family case management, patient navigation. And uh, one area that I'd like to highlight is our uh, nominal fee legal clinic that offers low fee legal services uh, from licensed attorneys. Uh, we just held an event last night that talked about what immigration reform means uh, under the President-elect's platform. Check us out, uh, Immigrant Community Law. Uh, there's a Facebook page, it's ICLC, or check out African Services on Facebook or our website, www.africanservices.org. Uh, we also have five health clinics in Ethiopia. The founder decided to give back more than a decade ago and set up five health clinics there. So again, we're a multi-service organization, a nonprofit, not far from here on West 127th. And I invite you to, uh, to check us out online or to stop on by. We're Monday through Friday. We welcome all immigrants. Our staff speak more than 25 languages. Uh, and if you have any questions, the booth is just right around the corner there. Uh, thank you very much. Hello everybody, my name is Ramona Ponce. I am a volunteer with New York City Emergency Management. 
my colleague, Ruth Vargas, is uh, over at the table. We provide services in, in education, teaching people in the community about how to be prepared in case there is an emergency, different things that you can do in advance to make sure that you are prepared as an individual, as a family, as a community, and as a business. Uh, many people do not know that if there is an emergency that lasts more than 10 days that takes businesses offline during that time, one in four will not come back. So it's very important for businesses to have an emergency plan for each of the people that works for that business to have a personal preparedness plan. And we're here today to help you put that together. So we have a variety of materials to help you plan personally. To uh, We are uh, presenting services, free services from the City of New York that uh, can help you to be prepared and various reference materials uh, specific to different kinds of uh, hazards that can affect the community. So do, by all means, stop by. We also have some information about uh, our local volunteer groups. Uh, there's 50 of them throughout the city of New York. And uh, a, local, uh, a local initiative, which is uh, a group of businesses and uh, other organizations that are active in disasters. If you feel that your business or your organization would like to be involved in uh, a group that would be active during disasters, we encourage you to stop by and chat with us about it. Thank you very much.